Did you happen to be aware of that there is another enemy that the Iraq and U.S. troops are fighting? It is an infectious disease that the binomial name is Acinetobacter baumani or Arachibacter. Acinetobacter baumani was found by a German scientist named Franz Wilhelmi in 1835. But throughout the years, there haven't been many breakouts. They started to break out in the Iraqi war between Iraq and the U.S. Acinobacter baumani earned the name Arachibacter because it was found in the Iraq war. But this disease was later spread into the United States because of soldiers coming back diseased with this. Since they mainly affect U.S. and Iraqi troops, in 2005 there were 6,000 troops diseased in that war by Iraqi vector. So the sides have been losing many soldiers because of it. The medics find out that they have Iraqi vector by checking if they have some of the symptoms like intermittent fevers, rashes, and headaches. Those symptoms then lead to infections like pneumonia and bacteremia. Iraqi vector has been spread in many different ways. This germ can be spread by the usual way, contamination and person to person, but mostly Iraqi bacter has been found in many hospitals in the United States and Iraq. Iraqi bacter is treated in a very special way. Since it is a baumani, as in a Cynetobacter baumani, it is immune to most of the antibiotics we have created. There is only one antibiotic treated for this disease, and doctors have been having trouble trying to recover it. There is a reason why Iraqi Bacter has been affecting mostly the U.S. and Iraqi troops. Their wounds let many diseases in, and Iraqi Bacter is one of them. They have brought it back to their homeland, affecting other citizens with this disease. Thank you for watching my presentation on Iraqi Bacter. I hope that you have learned a lot.